here we will go over a basic refinery configuration again. The focus this time is on different refinery streams and what happens uh, to them as they go through different processes. Now the four colors you see here represent four types of processes as we have mentioned before. Blue represents uh, separation processes. Light orange or light pink represents conversion processes. Green represents finishing. And the pink at the bottom represents supporting processes. The first treatment crude oil receives is desalting to remove the salt that comes with the crude oil. And the desalted crude is sent to an atmospheric distillation column where we separate the crude into different boiling fractions. From the top, uh, we produce the gases. These are essentially gases dissolved in the crude oil. And from the bottom, we have the distillation residue, or ADR, which is sent to vacuum distillation for further fractionation. Vacuum distillation unit produces some vacuum fractions, vacuum distillate fractions as well as the residue, this is the non-distillable residue from crude oil that we call vacuum distillation residue or VDR which could be sent to solvent deasphalting to remove asphalt and also to a conversion process as we will see in the next uh, section this is the bottom of the barrel in essence you will see de-waxing is another uh, separation process, physical process that takes the feed from the uh, the vacuum distillation fraction so the next section will go over all these different fractions separated in the physical separation processes and what happens to them in the conversion sequence that we will cover well, let's review the streams coming from the separation unit starting from the top the gas fraction or gas stream goes through the finishing process, the green region, to become refinery products. As we go down, light straight run NAFTA coming from atmospheric distillation could also partially go through a finishing process to become a product, and part of it could be sent to a conversion unit. Heavy straight NAFTA has to be uh, fed to a conversion unit, as we will see. Straight run kerosene and straight run gas oil could be sent to a finishing process to become again refinery products. Light vacuum gas oil needs to be treated in a conversion process. Heavy vacuum gas oil can be sent to de-waxing to remove the wax. And the de-waxed oil could go through the finishing process to become a refinery product again and part of the heavy vacuum gas oil could be sent to a conversion process the vdr as you see coming from the separation uh, units could have two different options for conversion in this section the white boxes represent the conversion units or conversion processes we will cover in this course and we will look at uh, what streams are fed to these processes uh, in this segment. You can see again, starting from the top, light straight run NAFTA is fed to catalytic isomerization. Heavy straight NAFTA is sent to catalytic reforming unit. Straight run gas oil, light vacuum gas oil are fed to fluid catalytic cracking. Byproducts from fluid catalytic cracking are sent to polymerization and alkylation units. At the bottom, we can see the deasphalted oil and heavy vacuum gas oil goes through hydro cracking, and the VDR can go through vis breaking or coking. You can see a byproduct from coking a carbonaceous solid is called coke or petroleum coke. Let's now look at the fate of all the streams coming from the separation and conversion units as they go through the finishing processes to uh, become the final 
products that leave the refinery. Starting from the top again, the gas product coming from gas operation goes through sweetening and blending to make LPG. The light straight run NAFTA as well as the uh, product from catalytic isomerization are fed to a light distillate sweetening, hydro treating or blending process as well as the product from catalytic reforming, alkylation, polymerization and fluid catalytic cracking are fed through this light distillate uh, finishing process to produce aviation gasoline, motor gasoline and solvents like uh, benzene, toluene or xylene. Straight run gas oil and straight run kerosene are fed to the middle distillate hydro treatment or blending along with an intermediate product from fluid catalytic cracking and product from hydro cracking to produce jet fuel, diesel fuel, solvents like kerosene and distillate fuel oil. Heavy product from fluid catalytic cracking along with the product from loose breaking could be sent to a heavy distillate hydro treatment or blending to make residual uh, fuel oil. Coking, uh, the heavy product from coking could also contribute to the residual fuel oil uh, pool here in this, uh, in this section. The uh, dewaxed oil coming from the dewaxing process could be used to produce a lubrication oil base as well as a grease. So this completes uh, the whole scheme of separation, conversion and finishing processes in an oil refinery. Finally, you see at the bottom of the plot, the support processes consist of wastewater treatment, treating all the wastewater generated in the refinery, hydrogen production to produce hydrogen needed for hydro treatment processes, and hydrogen sulfide from these hydro treatment uh, units, hydro treatment processes, could go through a sulfur recovery unit to make elemental sulfur as also a product coming out of a refinery. Now you may think that this is a very complicated scheme, and it is, but once you know what goes on in all these different units, then uh, it will become pretty simple to draw this diagram. So that's what we're going to learn in this course.